invest in it. Holy shit. Invest in it. Holy shit! So that's how low it goes. Did it break the pan? I don't know. I'll Fucking hell. Well, if it did, we know where it's gotta be a welder. Ha! It's not touching it! <laughs> it isn't? Nice! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, at least you don't have to modify the pan. Holy shit, that was fucking nuts. I thought that thing wasn't gonna hold it. I'm like, alright, this thing's gonna break. Yeah, but you only did it once. Well, at least we didn't break when we were next to it. True. Shit, what if your hands were right there? God oh, damn. Fuck. Thought about slamming that ride. Dude, that was ridiculous. All right. Okay, so... So, if anyone was wondering about clearance, uh... And there you have it. I don't think it touches at all. This is a stock pan. Stock pan, yeah. The fuck? Why would someone sell another pan then? Hold on, we go on another side. I mean, this, the wrappers are compre uh, compressed too, so. It's nowhere near it. Well,. In some sections. That other plan was definitely clear it like it's nothing though. Yeah. The uh, pan from a W202 and the NA block, they are actually shorter. W202 M104. But uh, yeah, that's how not to uh, check for oil pan clearance. Maybe not to. Yeah, not to. Because imagine if that shit wasn't like correct and it slammed the oil pan into the axle. So we can say the uh, stock oil pan from a 606 fits in a 460. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the way you probably should test it. But uh, have a great day. Smile. Safety first.